today in this tutorial uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to submit the form inside react js by pressing enter key so you have this form here it contains two input fields and there is a button out there of submit so normally when you fill out a form here you enter the values and then you click on in this submit button and then the form is submitted but in this example what we will do is that we will submit this form by only pressing the enter key in the keyboard if i press the enter key now basically you will see that form is submitted i am not moving my mouse here you will see that it is submitted through the keyboard so in many occasions you need to submit the form by using the keyboard key so in this way you can do it so we will show how to do this inside react chase you will see we will track which keys are pressed on the keyboard or by the user here you will see user pressed this key this key this key and lastly user press the enter key and then the form is submitted so all these tracking is done inside react chase by using event handlers so i will be showing you which event handlers are used and basically we will be using conditional rendering inside react chairs to submit to show this heading that form is submitted we will also be using a use state hook inside react chairs so all the source code will be there inside the description of this live stream so let's start building this just create a react chairs project and inside your app.js we will write this file here so just wait first of all we need to import uh, use effect hook and use state both these hooks we need to import from the react dependency and then basically we will make the functional component of like this and then we will have uh, first this will be the first name where you will write the initial value will be nothing then we will have the last name and the initial value will be nothing and also we will have a boolean variable just to check whether the form is submitted or not initial value will be false so when we load the component the form is not submitted so now we have declared these three state variables so now we need to have our use if oh, sorry we need to show the form so now to show the form we will have the return statement and inside this we will have a simple form element so inside this form element guys we will have two input fields input type text so we will also be giving it id of first name to also first the value we will give is first in that just close it and we will bind a on change so whenever the value changes on this input field this event will be triggered and we will call the hook method which is set first and to get this value we will use event.target.value and we will also have the autocomplete to off so this is we have done here if you now see refresh it so we need to write here we have this one input field out there similarly we can repeat this for the last name as well so id will change to last so now we have two input fields and lastly we will have a simple button
so now inside this guys uh, what we need to do is that we need to write this function which is uh, we need to initialize a use effect hook right here at the top use effect this is a hook function and here we will be having uh, right here we will initialize document dot add event listener key down so whenever we press any sort of key we will uh, call this function which is key down handler so now we need to write this function which is key down handler so this will have its own event so basically we can console log whichever key is pressed by the user so user pressed uh, the key event dot key that's it and now basically if you see here guys uh, it is saying key down handler is not defined uh, key down handler key down handler oh sorry we also need to do like this after we initialize it we need to return this as a dependency so return we need to write like this document dot remove event listener key down key down handler and we need to add it as a dependency let me paste it here paste this code here So you can see that guys we are uh, tracking which key is pressed and then we are comparing it whether if this key is enter then we will event dot prevent default and then call this method which is handle submit. So we need to define this function which is handle submit. Inside this function we will simply say form is submitted and also we will make the set submitted value to true and inside conditional rendering right after the form we can simply say that uh, if submitted it true then we can simply say inside h1 that form is submitted so now basically guys if you see here uh, if you see inside the console whichever key you press it is tracking it so now basically Let me paste this full example. The source code will be there inside the description of this live stream, guys. So basically, if you refresh it, click submit. So in this way you can do this guys, submit the form you can see, whichever key I press here it is tracking it and then click the submit button a form is submitted. So in this way you can do this, all the source code will be there inside video description and I will be seeing you in the next video.